All right, so this is how to replace the jack on the car horn. You can see it's bent. So I'm gonna fix that now. Alright, so I can't just reinstall the jack as the metal here is all bent. So I'm going to weld in a new plate that's nice and square and uh, level and install the new jack. That's getting replaced with this. That's a pretty standard uh, standard mounting surface too, so it's not like you have to do a bunch of calculations. Alright, I'm going to fix that. So I just cut out the super vent piece. I'm gonna weld this in once I cut it on those lines. And then it's gonna essentially look like this. And then I'm gonna notch out the circle area and then drill a hole so that it fits. So that didn't work out very well, so I'm going to cut this existing plate out and then uh, try and bend it back into shape and then weld it back in. All right, so here's what the finished product's gonna look like. Now it's at least flat, so whenever I mount the jack on it, it's not gonna be sideways again. So let's get that welded up. Okay, so that's the real finished product. Now I'm gonna weld this up and uh, get it put on the trailer.
Okay, so this turned out pretty nice. Just gotta grind the rest of the paint away, paint it, and weld it in. So, as you can see, the old one was bent out of shape. It's clamped to the surface to kind of illustrate the angle that it was at, but it's a lot better now. So that's fixed. In the process, I accidentally nicked the brake line, so got to replace that and fix this bird's nest of a uh, wiring harness. So that'll be next. Oh, and the boards. <laughs>